Imagine a world where a once taboo substance is now recognized as the key to unlocking mental health breakthroughs. This isn't a science fiction tale or some far-flung futuristic scenario. This is the world we live in today where the face of medicine is changing, where boundaries are being pushed, where the unbelievable is turning believable. Welcome to a groundbreaking reality where psilocybin, a compound that was once criminally maligned and socially feared, now holds a promising position in our society. This active ingredient in magic mushrooms, the subject of countless anecdotes, whispers of psychedelic experiences and cautionary tales, is stepping out of the shadows of negativity and stigma. It is beginning to cast its own glow in the scientific community as an unexpected hero. A fungus, once associated with counterculture movements and psychedelic journeys, is now becoming the protagonist in the saga of mental health treatment. The healing properties of these magic mushrooms are now being studied in laboratories around the globe, their powers harnessed, their potential mapped. Researchers are diving deep into the world of psilocybin, unearthing its potential to transform mental health care as we know it. They are unraveling its mysteries, delving into its effects on the human brain and drawing up a new chapter in the book of medicine. Welcome to the present, where psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, is stepping into the spotlight as a revolutionary medicine. Historically, psychedelics have been shrouded in controversy, but their potential for treating various mental health conditions is now slowly gaining recognition worldwide. Over the last few decades, the global opinion surrounding these powerful substances has started to shift. Despite having been vilified in the past, these substances are now considered by many to have substantial therapeutic potential. They are beginning to emerge from the shadows, making their way into the mainstream. Central to this shift is an understanding of their profound healing capacity. As numerous scientific researches and studies are demonstrating, these substances can provide breakthroughs in treating various mental health issues. From depression to anxiety and PTSD, psychedelics are being seen as a potentially groundbreaking treatment avenue. One of the most notable proponents of this movement toward acceptance of psychedelics as therapy is none other than former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. His endorsement of these substances is not a casual fluke but a detailed account of personal transformation. Tyson attributes his dramatic career renaissance and radical improvement in mental and spiritual well-being to his use of psilocybin mushrooms, a powerful type of psychedelic. This public endorsement carries significant weight, considering Tyson's fame and past struggles with mental health. He is unabashed in his praise of psilocybin mushrooms, even claiming it has positively transformed his life. With this statement, Tyson brings a unique and personal perspective to the global conversation about the potential of psychedelics as therapy. In a bold move, Colorado voters took a step towards destigmatizing these substances by approving Proposition 122, the Natural Medicine Health Act, in November 2022. This was not just any ordinary political decision, but a revolution in the realm of mental health and substance use laws. It showcases a progressive societal shift marking an important milestone in our fight against the stigma surrounding these substances. The proposition, now known as the Natural Medicine Health Act, was a ballot measure that took center stage in the November 2022 elections. Garnering overwhelming support from voters, it changed the legal landscape of Colorado, redefining what is classified as a controlled substance. It's a move that pushed boundaries, challenging long-standing societal norms and perceptions about psychedelic substances, in particular psilocybin and psilocin. These substances, which were previously vilified and characterized by legal restrictions, are now being seen in a new light. They're recognized for their therapeutic potential, shown in numerous scientific studies, and are no longer viewed merely as harmful drugs. This legislation decriminalized the transport, cultivation, and use of these natural substances, which is a monumental step towards their acceptance in society. The move has not just affected Colorado, but has sent ripples across the nation. It has sparked a nationwide conversation, raising questions about our current drug policies and their effectiveness. It's a conversation that's much needed, opening doors for new scientific research and a more empathetic approach towards those who use these substances for medicinal purposes. This groundbreaking decision decriminalized the transport, growth and use of certain psychedelics, categorizing psilocybin and psilocin as natural medicine. But the winds of change didn't stop blowing there. In the far-reaching corners of our expanding world, where progress is unfurling in unprecedented ways, an event of monumental significance came to pass. 
Amidst the lingering echoes of surf and the vibrant hues of the outback, halfway across the globe from the clamor and bustle of our familiar environments, in the isolated yet progressive land of Australia, something extraordinary was brewing. A regulatory body known as the Therapeutic Goods Administration, which holds a prestigious standing in the world of medical advancements, made a remarkable and undisputedly historic declaration. This announcement was a beacon of hope, a herald of change, and a testament to the unyielding pursuit of progress in the field of mental health. It signified a seismic shift in the approach towards the treatment of one of the most debilitating mental health conditions, treatment-resistant depression. This announcement was not just an ordinary regulatory update, it was a landmark in the timeline of medical evolution, a milestone that marked a new era of treatment possibilities. Starting from the dawn of July 1st in the year 2023, a notable modification is set to take place. Authorized psychiatrists, those who've dedicated their lives to healing minds, will be handed a new tool in their therapeutic arsenal. They will be able to prescribe psilocybin, a naturally occurring psychedelic compound for treatment-resistant depression. However, the journey doesn't end here. It is indeed important to acknowledge that even though significant strides have been made in the field of mental health, there is still a long way to go. There exist numerous questions, uncertainties and debates regarding the accessibility of these groundbreaking treatments. In many regions, access to these treatments is limited, often due to legislative restrictions, lack of trained professionals or simply the high costs associated with them. This leaves us pondering about the people who could potentially benefit from these treatments but are unable to access them due to these obstacles. Could there be a more fair and equitable distribution of these resources? Furthermore, we need to contemplate the safety and effectiveness of these treatments. It is crucial to remember that while the intent is to help, it is equally important to prevent any unintended harm. Thus, the lack of evidence on how to roll these treatments safely and effectively is a source of significant concern. We need to establish rigorous standards of safety as well as efficacy to ensure that these treatments can genuinely help those they are meant to serve. Psychiatrists in particular have their path fraught with challenges. They will need approval under Australia's authorized prescriber scheme before they can administer these treatments. This adds another complexity to an already demanding process. Moreover, the specifics regarding training standards and prescribing practices are still under contemplation. This leads to uncertainty and potentially delays in the delivery of these treatments. Understanding these complexities is a step towards solving these issues. Psychiatrists will need approval under Australia's authorized prescriber scheme, and the details on training standards and prescribing practices are still under consideration. It's a brave new world we're stepping into, one where the potential of psilocybin as a revolutionary medicine is being recognized and explored. This is not just a journey into the unknown, but an expedition into the vast expanses of human consciousness. The landscape before us is teeming with promise and curiosity. It's an uncharted territory where science and nature intertwine in the most fascinating of ways. The advent of psilocybin as a revolutionary medicine marks an epoch in the history of human health. It's a beacon of hope for those plagued by the specter of conditions like depression, anxiety, and trauma. Despite having been marginalized and stigmatized for decades, this little-known compound found in certain species of mushrooms is now poised to change the world as we know it. We're not merely talking about a shift in medical paradigms here. This is an evolution, a radical transformation in the way we perceive and treat mental health. It's about empowering individuals, giving them the tools to explore their inner selves and navigate their mental landscapes. As we delve deeper into the potential of psilocybin, we're uncovering layers of possibilities, each more exciting than the last. This is a journey of exploration and discovery of science and soul, of hope and healing. It's like stepping into a new dimension, one that beckons with the promise of transformation and transcendence. The implications are vast and the possibilities, endless. And on this channel, we'll continue to bring you the latest updates on this exciting frontier. Here, we aim to serve as your go-to guide, shining a light on the enticing world of medicine's newest phase, we unravel, simplify and present to you, the complex and often convoluted developments making it accessible to everyone, everywhere. Understandably, the advances in the medical field can be overwhelming, but do not fret, we're here to break down these advancements into digestible pieces. By subscribing to our channel, you're just getting updates, you're getting clarity. You're getting information that is not only current, but also credible and easy to understand. 
We make it our mission to make sure you're not left behind in the dust of technical jargon and medical terminologies. We are committed to delivering regular updates because we believe that knowledge is not just power, but also a means to a healthier life. And in an age where information is key, we want you to be equipped with the tools to navigate the landscape of modern medicine. With every video we produce, our aim is to empower you to have informed discussions about your health or the health of your loved ones. So if you're intrigued by this new age of medicine and want to stay informed, do us a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We you to join us in this shared journey of discovery. We're thrilled to have you be part of our community, where we don't just learn together but also support each other in our quest for understanding and growth. Together, we'll explore what the future holds. As we continue to explore the potential of psilocybin, we can't help but wonder what the future holds. Will it become a staple in modern medicine, offering new treatments for mental health conditions, or will it be more than that, unlocking doors to understanding consciousness and our minds in ways we've never thought possible? The ongoing research and studies on psilocybin are promising. Scientists around the globe are tirelessly working to uncover more about this intriguing compound. From its potential uses in depression, anxiety, and addiction, to its possible role in enhancing creativity and spiritual experiences, the future for psilocybin looks bright. As we delve deeper into the world of psilocybin, we look forward to sharing more exciting updates with you. Stay tuned, stay curious, and until next time, keep exploring.